Welcome to the Really Cheap iPad Teleprompter Project. So why would you want to use a teleprompter in the first place? Well, reading your script off of a moving screen is going to make your video seem much more professional. And additionally, it'll make it look like you're looking directly at the people that are watching your video. Also making your video look more polished and professional for the recipient. And isn't that what you want anyway? And for this project, you will need an iPad, a pool noodle, a serrated knife, and a piece of software from the App Store called iPrompt Pro. Okay, so the main purpose of a teleprompter is to give the illusion that the person speaking in front of the camera actually knows what they're saying or talking about. And for a lot of applications in schools, we want our text to be read well. And the other big point of this is that we don't want to waste a lot of time taking multiple takes of our speech or presentation. So we're going to build this really cheap teleprompter that's going to allow our presenter to give the appearance that they're looking straight into a camera, but instead they're actually reading the script right here. So the eye, the eye line or eye sight is going to kind of look very close to looking at the camera. They're going to be off center. Ideally, you would be using a whole different method of this, and that normally looks like this, is you would be taking an iPad and you'd lay it down flat like this, and you would have a piece of they call beam splitter glass which when I run the software in mirror mode the text is upside down or I'm sorry backwards here it reflects off this little piece of glass and goes directly into the eyesight or eye line of the uh, presenter and behind that then you have the camera and that camera is looking directly into the eye so it makes it look like we're having complete eye contact so instead of doing that and I you know, don't have the money to do that or the time, we're just going to make this really simple. So the camera is going to be mounted above an iPad mounted on a pool noodle to be able to make it look about as close as we can, but again, really cheap to be able to do this. So this is how we're going to do it. Okay, so here we are with our pool noodle, and what we're going to do is measure out about five inches or so of our pool noodle and get our serrated knife out, and we're just going to start slicing through very carefully trying to make sure that we're absolutely vertical as we cut through our piece of pool noodle. So we're gonna make two of these little pieces. So here's our first little piece, which is about five inches long, and we're gonna bring the pool noodle up, try to get these things again exactly the same size, cut through the pool noodle, number two, and trim the little bottom piece so we don't scratch anything. And now we've got our two pieces of pool noodle. Pool noodle, <laughs> easy for you to say. Next, we're going to measure the midway point of our pool noodle and use our serrated knife to cut about halfway through each one of these pool noodles. This is going to give our um, place for our iPad to fit in the slot, but also to be uh, tight so it doesn't fall out. The main idea here again is I'm going to have my iPad have the ability to kind of stand on its own on a table. So it's facing our presenter, and then again, our camera's gonna be mounted over top of that. So I'm gonna slit the other one, and then we'll give it a try here so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so here's your finished product. I've got my iPrompt Pro software running on my iPad, sitting on the stability of two pool noodles, so it's gonna stay vertical. And behind that, I've got a small little blue stool that I got at Dollar Tree for a dollar. And behind that, there's my camcorder that's sitting up on a small little tripod that I also got for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Very, very cheap to put something like this together, but it gives great impact. So each of these items that I have here comes to $3. So now it gives you the illusion or appearance that as you're speaking, and you would be back here at the camera, um, looking into this one that's recording, reading your text off of this, it gives the appearance that you are looking directly at whoever the receiver is of your communication. It adds a lot of more professionalism to your presentation, and it makes you a lot more efficient because you don't have to redo your recording over and over and over again if you want it to come out perfect. So if you found this interesting, please share it with your kids. Have them build this as a project in your classroom. And all credit goes to Ingenuity and Makers. Thanks and have a great day.